Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about something that we all know and are very familiar with, and that is Art Envy. So for those of you who may not be aware, Art Envy is basically when you are constantly comparing the art that you make to the work that you see other artists on social media and YouTube and Twitter and all those. Uh, you're constantly comparing your work to them and you feel, I guess, as stated by the title, you feel envious of, you know, this artist's abilities and, you know, their style and how successful they are as an artist. You know, you are, you're, you're envious of them and Art Envy is kind of, I, I don't think it's a very good term because it, it doesn't really encompass all the aspects of art envy, you know? You're not just jealous of someone's artistic abilities and, you know, you're not just jealous of how, you know, they do art. You're jealous to the point where it becomes... It, it, it inhibits your own creation of art and it inhibits your development as an artist. And the reason for that is because people who suffer from art envy tend to focus all of their time and energy into being jealous of an artist and their style or their success or the number of followers they have or the supplies that they have or whatever. They spend all of their time being jealous and they stop creating because you know, they either feel like no matter how hard they work, they're never going to improve or, you know, they put in twice the amount of work as this other artist, so why aren't they as successful as them or, you know, just things like that. And art envy is something that's, you know, it can really hurt an artist and inhibit their development because art envy sucks you in and it's very, very difficult to get out of because you just spend so much of your time being angry and upset that, you know, another artist is, you know, better than you or they have more followers or whatever. You just spend so much of your time worrying about, you know, another artist and another person and what they're doing that you stop creating art of your own and... You know, it's like with anything, if you stop doing something, you're not going to improve. And as much as I understand why um, people suffer from art envy, um, first of all, I myself never really suffered from art envy. I kind of always used other people's, you know, their success and how good they are as an artist is kind of a motivation for myself. You know, I use it to motivate me to get better and to draw more so that I can improve and, you know, maybe one day, you know, be successful like that and have an art style that I really, really like and whatever. So I myself have never really had any experiences with art envy, but I know artists who have suffered from art envy and, you know, some of them stopped doing art entirely because they just got so wrapped up in what someone else is doing that they just fell into this pit of complete and utter despair and ultimately decided that it wasn't worth continuing with art because they were never going to be as successful as this other person. And I think that honestly, if you want to continue doing art, even if it's only a hobby, you really have to get past this, you know, ideology that, you know, you're never going to be as good as, you know, this other artist, or you're never going to have as many followers on, like, Twitter, or you're never going to be as successful, because that mentality ultimately does lead to not being successful. Um, but the artist who continues to work and continues to do art, even though you know, they feel like their art style isn't as good as another artist, they're the ones who end up becoming successful because 
Despite sometimes feeling overwhelmed or maybe a bit frustrated with not having as many followers as this other artist or not being as good as this other artist, they still continue and they persevere through the hardships because they love doing art and they love creating. And so I think the number one thing to remember, you know, if you suffer from art envy or if you feel like you may, you know, you're starting to suffer from it, is to not worry about what someone else is doing and to focus on what you're doing because that's ultimately where art envy arises. It arises from constantly comparing yourself to other people and, you know, their works. And if you just focus on your work, your art style, and what you need to do in order to improve, then not only will you improve because you've continued doing art despite maybe not feeling like you should, but you're also avoiding the primary cause of art envy, which is other artists. And as, you know, as much as I hate to admit it, but, you know, while other artists are a contributing factor to art envy, the real cause for it is, you know, the insecurities and just general lack of confidence that an artist has in their own abilities, you know? You can be envious of someone else's art, but ultimately, you know, it's not their fault that you are feeling this way about you know, yourself and your art, you know? They don't have anything to do with the way you feel. They might not even know you, so it's it's not fair to put the blame on the artist that you're envious of because ultimately they're just doing what they love to do and you're the one who's you know using their art as kind of like a facilitator for your negative feelings so if you really want to get over art envy then i think the first thing you have to do is separate yourself from other artists and understand that yes, even though I might not be as good as this other artist yet, if I continue and I keep going and I keep practicing and I just try and make every piece better than the last, then ultimately you will get better and you will succeed. It just all comes down to whether or not you allow yourself to fall into this rut of thinking that you're not good enough and then not creating because of those thoughts. So yeah, that's pretty much my two cents about the topic. Um, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about, so if you guys have any suggestions for what you'd like me to talk about in a future video, uh, I'd love to hear them, so leave them down in the comments below. Uh, remember to like and subscribe this video, I would really, really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye! Thanks so much for watching! If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos every single week. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye!